Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app refresh. Um, it's a review that I think I did a long time ago, but with all the news of um, Google's Pixel 3 and 3XL's uh, photo processing capabilities, Apple doing the same on their end, I figured I would do a review of um, an app called Snapseed, which is available for Android and iOS that allows you to take your pictures and enhance them on your own manually. So if you, even if you have a newer device and you want to play around with some color effects, or if you have an older device and you want to clean them up on the go, then Snapseed is definitely a very good tool to help you do that. So um, when you open up Snapseed, you get a layout that looks like this. The settings menu is actually pretty straightforward and simple. You get a, um, these options so you can enable or disable a dark theme. So depending on what kind of um, look you want, you can turn it on or off. I keep it off just because that's personal preference. Um, you can have it automatically resize the picture after you save it. So if you want to keep the original size or make it smaller to save space, then or keep it different, even keep it different from the original image, then that is also an option. And then you can set the format quality. So I just have it set to PNG, but you can set it to JPEG as well and reduce the quality a little bit. So if you're on low, on, if you are low on space or quality is not too big of an issue, then you can reduce the file size that way as well. Or if you're on the go and you want to share a smaller file, then that is also an option. So once you've set up the files for how you want it, um, editing is pretty straightforward. So for me, I will sometimes use Snapseed to um, adjust the HDR effects or tune the image up and down a little bit. But let's say you're on an older device or a device that doesn't have some of the uh, processing, photo processing capabilities of like the Pixel 3, 3XL, the iPhone 10X or the 10X Max or any one of those. Then here's some tools that I use um, that I like just to touch up images, make them look a little bit better. So this is a picture that I took um the the morning i record i'm recording this video and it's just i just use my stock camera app it doesn't i did not use hdr mode bokeh nothing like that i just pulled out my camera took a picture and uh, left it at that so one of the easiest tools to use is the tune image uh, capability so you have the ability to do things like adjust brightness contrast saturation and things like that um, so you can, for example, if you want to have black or blacks or, uh, lighter blacks, um, or just the, um, contrast or anything like that, to um, adjust various facial filters like that, you can do that. Um, if you want to adjust the ambience a little bit, then you can, um, do things like that and adjust that way. Um, Snapseed has, at least on the Android side, has the ability to do an auto tune of your image. So... Um, so this is the original image, and let's say I want to see kind of what the image would look like using Google's algorithms. I can touch the magic wand, and um, it'll automatically adjust. It didn't really need to do too much. You can drag your finger up and down just to see if it did anything. So adjusted the brightness a little bit, contrast, shadows, and things like that. At the top right of the screen, you see this little um, rectangle with a line through. So if you touch that, you can see your original um, image. If you let it go, you'll see the um, um, adjustment adjusted image if, and to see if there's any change. There's not too much going on, so there's no real need to use it. Uh, one of the other tools that I like to use is HDR scape. So sometimes I'll take a standard picture or I'll even take an HD picture on my phone, but I'll want to adjust the color a little bit because it's not quite what I wanted. Um, so you can use this feature. So right now it's on nature and the filter strength is set to 50. So if you touch that rectangle, you can see the original picture. Let it go. You can see it enhance some of the colors. Um, if you drag your finger from right to left or left to right, you can adjust the strength of the image. So zero all the way up to 100. Um, you'll see how much it adjusts the picture. Um, and if you find that it doesn't quite do what you want, it also has the ability for different things. So if you have um, people in your picture, then the, the filter works better. So it's a little bit of a softer application. So um, it looks a little bit better. So sometimes even when there's no people, it works out um, just as well. So you'll see that the um, sky becomes a little bit darker, but not as dark as if you use the nature filter. Um, you can use fine if you want a um, stricter thing. You can do strong if you want a stronger HDR effect. And then from here, you can adjust the filter strength, the brightness, and saturation if you want. So 
Um, it makes your picture stand out a little bit more. It's not pure HDR, but um, using Google's algorithms, it will help the color stand out a little bit more than just or by ju than by just using your normal picture. Um, and then among other tools, one other uh, filter that I do use a little or probably next often is the healing tool. So let's say you took a picture and you see found that there's something in the picture that you didn't like, like a street light or a person or just a general object and you want to remove it from the picture, then you can use a healing tool. So for example, um, there's nothing that overtly stands out for my picture, but if you zoom in a little bit, you see this little generator in the um, corner. So if you um, highlight the um, generator like that, it will erase it. This does get a little bit tricky because it's not a pure um, erasing tool or a blurring tool. So you do, it might take a couple of times to um, get it proper. So it all depends on how you um, adjust it. So you can even zoom out a little bit and touch it once and it'll uh, do a quick um, erasing like that. So you can even um, do different adjustments like that. So it'll um, do a more broader stroke so you don't have to touch the um, picture as many times. So once you get the hang of it, you'll find um, or you'll be able to um, erase it a little bit more smoothly. So with that, I was able to get rid of it a little bit and then blurring it out a little bit will remove it even more. And then when you zoom out of the picture, you don't notice it as much except for a little bit of residue. So um, if you do uh, spend a little bit more time, you can erase more of it. So once you zoom out, you can see that it's not even there. And then, of course, touching the rectangle, you'll be able to see what was there before. Let go, and now it's disappeared. So now it's less generator and more picture. So um, as you get used to it, you'll see um, kind of what um, happens there. And even you can even try doing a... Um, a, gen a broad overview of what's going on in the picture. So if you want to um, remove more objects, then um, that is definitely a way to go. So that's a nifty tool. And then there's other things like um, drama that's available um, if you want to um, do uh, various effects that way. And it has various automatic filters. So if you want to make your, make it, your pictures look dramatic, then you can do that and you can adjust the filter strength as well. Um, saturation also comes into effect here. So I have, sometimes when I want to be overly dramatic, I'll set it all the way for the filter strength and saturation all the way up to 100 just to make that difference in image. Um, but that also has this um, uh, moment as well. Um, and then from here, it also has, you can use tools like uh, black and white if you want to do that or if you want to, for example, um, make certain parts stand out and other parts not. So from here, there's tools like editing your various effects. So let's say I only want the street and sidewalk to be in black and white and the rest of the picture to be in color. Um, and I always get this backwards. So uh, we'll see if I did this right or not um, this time. Um, and yeah, I did it uh, the wrong way. So I'm gonna undo that. So when you do your um, edits, so I want to apply the black and white filter just to the street and to the path. So I've done the um, broad at part of the street and the path, and then I'm going to do um, just the uh, path in the picture. So now when I hit the check mark, um, now the street and sidewalk is in black and white, and the rest of the um, picture is in color. And if you even want to go as far as making... Um, the generator that I tried to erase earlier in black and white as well. You can do that as well. So it's not too much difference because the sidewalk is kind of gray and the street is black. But if you want certain parts of the picture to stand out, that is a good tool to have. And that's by going into um, your undo button, which also has a view edits and allows you to um, make your edits there and then there's a trash can so in case you decide that you don't want to use it you can delete that filter and then you can of course do things like lens blur if you want to um, focus on certain parts of the picture and um, blur out other parts kind of like the portrait mode um, you have a manual version there if you want to add some text um, you can add text like sunrise and um, move that to um, different parts of your image 
and do things like that. So Snapsy is a pretty nifty tool for editing your pictures and definitely worth checking out if you um, have an older device and want to um, edit your photos or even a newer device if you want to apply different effects to it on the go. And if you're like me and you don't have um, professional or even somewhat amateur Photoshop experience, then Snapseed is a very easy tool that I kind of prefer and um, like to use when I'm sharing my pictures. Um, so that's all there is for that. So Snapseed is available for Android and iOS. Uh, for free is um, provided by Google, um, which and they bought out. I believe the developers were Nix LLC or something like that, N I X. But it's available for the two top major platforms, so you can edit on the go. And if you use, for example, Google Photos to back up your images, if you can back up your Snapseed folder, folder so your um, edits get backed up easily as well. And then it makes it easy to easily um, share the images as well if you want to share your edited, edited images instead of your originals. Um, but that's all there is for that. So if you want to check out this review or other reviews, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash PatelN01. The website is PatelN01.com. Um, if you want to help, if you want to help support the show, if you want to get this review early and in your podcast kind of choice and all of that good stuff, be sure to support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.